Hey, what's going on guys? It is me, Covert Gaming, and welcome back to some more transfer gossip every single day. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to get these videos every day without even having to search for me or look for them. So, we are starting off with Ashley Williams. Obviously, he's been previously linked to Everton, and they are ready to come back in with a new improved bid, which is obviously going to be half to, well, have to be above the 10 million bid that was previously talked about, and I believe it was actually, you know, true. They did actually make that 10 million pound bid, and Swansea turned it down, with Swansea saying he's too much of, like, an integral part of their team. However, Everton don't see it that way and they're ready to make that a new improved bid and try and get him as part of their new centre-back defence next up another centre-back is Lescott he is uh, allowed to leave for pretty much nothing I believe for Aston Villa he's ready to just they're ready to just get rid of him and terminate his contract especially after like that Twitter gaff where you know he got absolutely ripped to shreds for posting like a car after they got beats like 6-1 so you know it hasn't been a good time let's be honest for him at Aston Villa they kind of made good signings, Aston Villa. Well, on paper, they look like good signings. You know, Lescott and Richards at centre-back looked like it should have been a good partnership. And it just it just went really, really, really bad. Uh, he's allowed to leave, as mentioned before. And Leeds United are interested in going in for him. Next up is Matthew Debucci. Uh, Galatasaray have had a loan offer accepted by Arsenal to obviously get him for the season. Don't know whether that includes a permanent deal at the end of it or what. From what I'm reading, it is just a loan deal. And if I was Arsenal, I don't see why they're keeping him. If I were them, I'd try and get, sell him now while he's you know quite young, get a bit of money for him and be happy, but they're not doing it. Next up is Mustafi. Yeah, obviously, we've been linking him with Arsenal, and he's, Arsenal are still interested, but now Chelsea are stepping in and are interested in the German international. Now, does that mean Wenger's going to lose out on a, yet another uh, main target that he wants? It would be incredible if he did. He'd just been acting too slow with this one. He really should have got it done by now, but Chelsea are rumoured to be going for him as well now. Next up is a severe sign, and this is Mikado. He looks super fast on that picture, but I don't think he is. Uh, he was linked with a few Premier League clubs, but Sevilla have won the race to sign him. Maybe possibly be another fantastic signing by Sevilla. Odegaard is next up. He's getting linked to Liverpool, and uh, he's delaying on a Bundesliga loan move in favour of a potential loan move to Liverpool. I don't know how and uh, or why he's actually you know stolen on a loan deal. He's looking to get uh, you know a bit of Premier League experience apparently, but I don't even know whether Liverpool are interested in going for him. Obviously, they wanted to sign him when he was first coming through. But obviously chose Real Madrid, so I don't know like the schematics of what that would happen. Whether you know Liverpool get him on loan just for the season, and that's it, or whether they have like a permanent option at the end of it, which would change it and make it something interesting and worthwhile. Next up is Will Buckley. He's gone out on loan from Sunderland to Sheffield Wednesday for the season again. Don't think it's a permanent deal. I think it's just a loan deal. The big one, Julian Draxler, is next up. Apparently Everton have made an approach to go for Draxler now. As much as Everton are like a big club, and I'm sure they got a ton of money, I just I wouldn't have expected Draxler to go to Everton. That is just you know one of those things. I just don't expect it. Kind of expected like a top four club, a club playing in the Champions League or the potential to play in Champions League. However, Everton didn't see it coming, but it would be an absolute astonishing move if Everton managed to get Draxler. Next up is Sacco. Now, a bit of info that I found out today on this one. Obviously, he was meant to go to West Brom. That's why he's got that badge. However, they cancelled the deal after finding out he wasn't going to be fit for the start of the season. So, obviously, I don't know whether that happened in the medical or, you know, whether Sacco told him, listen, I've got carrying an injury or what. But they cancelled the deal on West Ham saying that, like, you know, he wasn't going to be fit for the season. So, they didn't want to sign him. Obviously, you know, it looks like he would have been the replacement for Berahino. But not now I say because he just wasn't going to be fit next up is Peter Crouch he is uh, getting linked with a move to Wolves for first team football you know at the end of the day he's not going to be playing for Stoke I just can't see him getting into that team he barely played last season Stoke are on the verge of like you know well going for more strikers so I just can't see Crouch playing he doesn't suit their style of play anymore they're now more of a passing team and pff, Crouch just wouldn't get a game it would be good for him to drop down to the championship and get some games and finally, we end on Slimani. He has uh, handed in a transfer request as far as I'm aware. And this is, came after an unnamed English club made a bid of about £16.7 million for his services. So this is what the squad looked like. Obviously, not a big one today. I covered so many transfers yesterday that it's not as big. 
But there are still some heavy, heavy transfers coming in. That perfect link between Mustafi and Draxler would be insane. I would, I, I really want to see Mustafi in the Premier League. That's the one transfer that I'm really gunning for. But Slimani would be sick as well. Guys, if you did enjoy, let's always hit 10 likes in these videos. And I shall see you in the next one.